Well, good evening everybody. Welcome back to the channel. Have you noticed anything different? Yeah, I'm out on my own. The boyos are not with me on this occasion. And the reason I'm out on my own is because I'm running in this baby. <laughs> I bought a Triumph Speed Twin in uh, Baja Orange. And I love it. It's, uh, so I'm just taking it out to start to run it in. So I'll tell you the story. Um, I uh, I love the tracer. You know the tracer's gone by now. I love the tracer. And uh, what I found I was doing, I was doing a tour on the tracer. And I was coming home and putting it in the garage and leaving it there. And then next year I'd come and I'd go and do another tour on it. And I might do a, the odd ride in between, but it was predominantly being used just to do, just to do an annual tour. And I thought this is bonkers. And I've and I sawned it this year. It's something I've, I hadn't done before. I sawned it. I thought you need to. You're not getting the benefit out of having a bike, having a fourth bike. So I uh, got the idea in my head that I wanted another bike. There was no way I was going to get another one. She was never going to let me buy an additional bike. So. Um, I was wondering what to have, and I, I watched again uh, the all-year motorcyclist. You've got a lot to answer for, you have, mate. I watched the all-year motorcyclist, and he did a uh, he did a review, a ride and review, on on this model and this colour. And uh, I really liked, I really liked the colour. And uh, you probably know that prior to uh, a couple of years ago, I'd had a couple of uh, Bonnevilles. I got the Bobber, the Bobber Black. And I had the uh, Thruxton R, oh. and uh, when I reduced my bike down, when I lost my mojo during doing the lockdown nonsense, so I, uh, I reduced my bikes down, and I went to ultimately to one bike. But I loved the engines on that was uh, on the Bobber and on the Thruxton. So this sort of then ticked all the boxes. It uh, it wasn't a discomfort. I was, I was struggling to ride the Thruxton, as my wrists couldn't do with the position. And uh, of course the bobber had gone, and uh, and this caught my imagination. I liked the colour. I decided the tracer needed to go, and it needed to have a replacement. And then uh, here we are. So uh, we, uh, 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 thank you to Gary at uh, at uh, Completely Motorcycles for sorting out a trading deal for me on the on the tracer. Uh, that was brilliant. Thanks, thanks a million for that. They are a great company. I can't recommend them highly enough. Uh, the servicing they've done for me, and now having bought a bike off them, brilliant service. So completely motorcycles, and this was the. It came from. It was delivered, but it came from the uh, Abergelly branch, I think. I think it was either Abergelly or Chester. So uh, it came from there, and so uh, here we are. So. Uh, the time strikes again, but uh, I'm going to be touring. This will be the bike I'll use for the longer tours. Uh, so I think we're going to look at maybe the Wild Atlantic Way next year. So this will be the bike for that. Um, I'm probably going to miss the tracer in some ways, but I'm going to have a whole lot more fun because I'm going to get the use out of this. Um, and that's where we are. So I'm, off, I'm off on this, uh, I've got to run it in, got to get it to 600 miles, so I have to make a start at some point, and uh, the weather was good tonight, on the Sunday evening, yeah, Sunday evening, 10th of September, big Paul's birthday today as well, so, happy birthday Paul, uh, and yeah, Paul played a part in, uh, in arranging this as well, so, thanks for that mate, and uh, yeah, so, delivered with four miles on, just the, uh, just the the test miles just to check everything was okay. The four miles, 16 now, so I've done 12 miles and uh, just taking it nice and steady. And uh, then we're gonna have a whole lot of fun together. So, uh, there you go. Ooh, we have another bike in the stable. Um, thoughts about it at the moment? Uh, okay keeping it really steady because you've got to keep the revs down haven't you uh, first 100 miles is 4,000 revs so I'm not going to be going anywhere near that but 
riding uh, my thoughts on the, on the riding it's, uh, it's very comfortable um, seat nicely padded arse is not uh, feeling any discomfort um, I'm slightly thrown forward however it's not putting you know, I'm not it's not putting any weight on my hands on the handlebars if that makes sense so it's a slightly forward riding position but there's no there's no weight there's no force going on to me upper body onto the handlebars which there was with on the thruxton on the thruxton R. Um, it's just smooth as silk or oh, what do you expect from triumphs it's uh it's no different to me uh, my thruxton the bobber in terms of how it feels in terms of the engine it's lovely i'm sure when i get the chance to open it up a little bit it's just going to be uh, as glorious as it was on those two bikes uh, yeah, it just feels right it just feels you know when a bike feels right uh, this one just feels right i can see myself comfortably doing some uh, some long mileage long runs on this and long touring mileage uh, yeah, I've only been on here for what, 20 minutes? But absolutely no discomfort whatsoever. And uh, I haven't had any extras. I'll, I'll, I'll probably fit extras myself if I'm going to put any on. I'm going to put a radiator guard and a sun protector will probably be the first two items that I'll, uh, I'll add to it. Uh, yeah, what's to say? It's, uh, it's just uh, welcome back Triumph yeah one thing uh, my bobber uh, broke down on me uh, I'm not sure what it was something to do with the stator oil had leaked into the stator or something uh, I'm not sure what happened and, uh, it got picked uh, it had to be recovered by the AA it went in for repair and it never really came back but it didn't come back at all and so I traded it in then uh, with it along with uh, my Triumph Tiger traded them in to uh, to buy the Tracer uh, so I had this little niggle is should I have another another you know Triumph twin engine based on what happened with that bike but I think that was that was probably a one off so uh, I'm not going to let it put me off because everything else about it is just uh, it's just awesome really and uh, the colour I know that orange is not everybody's cup of tea but I like orange I don't know what it is I like orange uh, my uh, Yamaha MT-09 was, uh, was orange um, and I just uh, I just like them. I particularly like this colour. Uh, so yeah, uh, it is just so easy to ride. The question's going to be is, will I keep the interceptor having this? Now that I'm really not sure about at the moment. I'm not sure whether I uh, having the interceptor's going to whether I'll, I've got the choice of the two to ride. Will I ride this or the interceptor? I think it's, I'm going to ride this. I'm going, this is going to be the go to, isn't it? Why wouldn't it be? But I do love the interceptor. Uh, so I don't know. I think that's going to be for early next year which is when I start thinking about that in a bit more uh, a bit more detail. But yeah, just lovely. Just lovely. So yeah, back, I have a triumph again. And the sound, oh the sound is just glorious isn't it? And I'm just sort of keeping it about 3,000 3, revs at the moment and it's just, it's just effortless as well, the handling.
Just lovely. Just lovely. I'm going to be cautious that I'm on brand new tyres as well. I need scrubbing in a little bit. There. It's just effortless to ride. I'm up to 20 miles now. So I'm, uh, I'm getting it uh, ceramic coated in a couple of weeks time a friend of ours uh, done Paul's bike before, big Paul and little Paul's on their bikes um, so I'm going to get it ceramic coated uh, oh there'll be some news soon uh, our Kev has got himself an additional bike uh, I won't say too much about that but I think you're going to love it. He's going back to his youth. Uh, yeah, so there's that coming as well. I'll, I'll tell you what, I was going to come out and I was just going to go and visit Harvington Hall, try and get some pictures outside Harvington Hall, and I passed it. Um, this is the sort of bike, and it's done it to me already, where you just want to ride it. It's just going, don't stop, just, just, just keep going. Uh, you, yeah, you could end up a very long way away from home on this, I think. Because it's, it's, uh, it's egging you on to keep going. So, I just want to, uh, I'll probably nip back in a bit. Because I want to go and uh, have a look at Harvester Hall and the, the weather tonight. It'll be probably a lovely chance to see it. Maybe get a picture for the thumbnail in front of it. But oh, this is one of them evenings. It's, uh, it's not hot. It's just nice. Uh, yeah. You have to just ride on and ride on and ride on. So I've got to try and control the urge. Airport. Seem to be here all the time at the moment, or at least passing through here all the time at the moment. We're just, we're just going and finding our places west and southwest of where we are. That's just some stunning roads out there. Yeah. So, uh, yeah. At the moment, I just want to keep riding and riding this bike. Stick, stay with me as we do uh, this ride out and we'll see what how it feels when I've done a few more miles. Maybe we're going to put 50 miles on tonight but I think I may end up putting a little bit more on. Yeah, so uh, have a look at the all year motorcyclists review videos um, it's got a particular style he uses to, to create them and it, it, you can tell it's done by somebody who just loves motorcycles and he doesn't from my perspective he doesn't like to criticize bikes um, really he loves all bikes what I can tell and don't we all um, so he sort of, yeah you, it, uh, you, you can relate to his review if that makes sense and uh, he certainly hasn't been wrong on this one yeah, the, the, the sand is uh, sand is just lovely so uh, yeah I was going to potential title for this video is uh, could be the all-year motorcyclist and his part in my divorce. 
uh, because yeah, he, uh, he's just incorrigible. <laughs> and, uh, and the thing as well is I don't need much encouragement. Um, so yeah, it's great stuff. It's uh, it's honest. It's uh, it's from somebody who just loves bikes, and you can tell they love bikes. And uh, what more do you want, really? I'm not trying to sell it, yeah. He's just telling you about it. Oh, sad man. The microphone's picking it up. So three modes. I'm currently in road mode. I haven't taken it out of that yet. We're road rain and sport. Uh, we'll have a go at sport at some stage. And right, um, hopefully not rain. Cause I don't like being out of the rain, but yeah, sometimes you can't avoid it. Uh, oh. Sound is awesome. I really do like the clocks on these bikes. They, uh, they look really, really nice. Fourth gear, effortless. It's just egging you on to, not to ride fast, but just to get into a, uh, a rhythm. It's like riding, being on the back of a tame grizzly bear. That's the best way to describe it. A friendly grizzly bear. And you're on its back, and it's taking you for a a run through the countryside. That's how this feels. Oh, effortless. Absolutely effortless. Effortless pulling away there. As I say, no snatchiness, just effortless. Beautiful. I absolutely love it. I absolutely love it. It's like it's giving you a big hug. Just to feel the vibration, it's, oh, it's oh, wonderful. I know some of these things I'm, I'm saying sound a bit daft, but it does feel like you're being given a big hug. A big friendly bear. Oh, this will be, you touring on this would be, uh, wouldn't be an issue at all. No issue at all, touring on this. Just that power sat there waiting. I know I can't be able to reach for it at the moment, really, with the running it in, but you just know that it's just at your fingertips. You just, uh, I just feel like you just want to enjoy the experience of, uh, of being on it. I think the, uh, the weather and everything is, uh, is perfect tonight. It's, it's power without being overpowering, if that makes any sense. You don't feel like it's, it's going to get you into any trouble. I'm sure it could, 
but it doesn't feel like it's gonna you just feel like you're in a nice place Do you ever feel when you're on the roads these days, you're just being told off all the time with these signs, with smiley faces, happy faces, and you just look, it's constantly somebody telling you off or patting you on the head for being a good little boy. Yeah. Such a nanny. In, uh, yeah, I know it's all about safety, I don't get that debate, but it just feels like we're so nannied now. Nannied and hectored is the way it feels to me. You know what? Just leave me alone. Yeah? You know that feeling? Just want to be left alone? This is a lovely little road down into Worcester. Hallow, I think it's called. Is it called Hallow? Yeah, I think it's called Hallow. What we'll do, we'll head down into Worcester and then we'll come back up. Well, that glorious church. We'll come back up and uh, we'll go and see if we can find Harvey's in the hall. It sits really easy and comfortably at low speed as well. Uh, you wouldn't have any more of the commuting on this, wouldn't get you into any trouble. It's a, uh, yeah. And I'll tell you what, height-wise as well, I can, uh, I'm balls of my feet on this baby. Um, uh, which is, I'm, I'm the interceptor, I'm tiptoes. This is slightly lower than the interceptor. So, yeah, I'm in balls of my feet territory. How's about that? I'm usually uh, hopping from one toe to the other. <laughs> Due to me, my uh, deficiency in leg length. I don't know the hell I used to ride me me uh, me Triumph Tiger twelve hundred. I never ever managed that piece. I did though. I could ride that bugger, and it was bloody enormous. I was dwarfed by the side of it, and I never wanted to push it about that. It was, uh, it was an heavy beast that was pushing around. Right, let's go see if we can find Harvington Hall, shall we? Let's see backdrop for a beautiful bike like this.
How much road do you want? Unbelievable. There's Harvey's and Hall through there. Let's have a look at this bike. So here he is. This is the uh, uh, my new Triumph Speed Twin um, replacement for my Tracer 9 GT. And what a beautiful bike! Look at the colour. Just love the colour. So yeah, it's on its first ride out. Just it nice and steady. Brakes, Marzocchi suspension. It's just lovely. It's just lovely. Yep, so I think I'll be using it. Well, I don't think I know I'll be using it for touring. It's probably a roll bag on the back. Would do the job. It's uh, I think we're gonna have a lot of fun together. I so I really do like these clocks. Oh, just 52 miles. So we're working on that 600 miles so we can get its first service done. Yeah, there you go. The latest addition to the stable and uh, we can have a whole load of fun together right well what a bike I love you I absolutely love it. Right, let's go home, shall we? Oh, and every motorcyclist nightmare. Gravel. <laughs> let's get straight across it.
Well, there you go, folks. Little introduction to the uh, the new bike. Hope you enjoyed that. Um, any questions? Drop them in the comments section below, and I'll answer them. Um, anything or any comments? That's it. Drop them in. And I uh, hope you're enjoying the channel. Lots of content, different types, all pretty much motorbike based, but it's there for you to have a look through. A lot of Royal Enfield stuff, a lot of tours, and uh, hopefully, you know, something to pique the interest if you like motorbikes. Uh, if, you, if you watch to the end, thank you very much. Um, and hope till hopefully I'll see you again soon on some on some more videos. Oh, as we say around these neck of the woods. Thanks for watching and ta da a bit.